Well, my co-host, Abby, decided to be a camera person today, so I get to open up with Popeye. Hey, buddy. <laughs> today, we're gonna take a quick look. Really, nothing uh, too in-depth, but our first impressions of the new DJI Air 2S. And it's funny, because we just released a drone video last night on the channel, and we had a pretty strong request uh, from people in the comments to get this on the channel. Little did you know, we already ordered it and had it on the way. Now, you know, I, I feel like I should say this because there are a lot of channels out there that get these for free. Um, we don't with DJI just because we're brutally honest. You know, they want people that like praise them. Um, and, and I will say this, that let's take a look down here. These are ours. We really like DJI. We started off the whole DJI thing with an Inspire, which gave us a lot of issues. It was a Gen 1, a lot of issues. Pick up Spark and love it. We've had a Phantom in the past. We've an original a, Mavic. An original Mavic. Now we have the Mavic 2 Pro. And Abby's drone, her personal drone actually. I've only flown this one time. Abby's flown this probably getting close to 20 times now. The DJI FPV and we love it. So as DJI progresses and makes things easier and more user friendly, although we've tested over a thousand drones on our channel, we tend to like them more and more, which is why we just picked up on our own dime the DJI Air 2S. I've always wanted one of the Air drones. I've never owned one. And I thought this would be a good opportunity because this is like a stepping stone. It's not enough of an upgrade to call it the Air 3, so they call it the Air 2S, right? It has a really nice giant one inch sensor on the camera. It's got the same video technology, the OcuSync 3, that the DJI FPV uses, although you don't need to go quite as fast with this one. It I'm not saying you should go seven and a half miles of range, but you can go seven and a half miles of video range on this theoretically. So that's kind of amazing. There's also some other app features and software upgrades that I really want to fly on. And although we've also had the Mavic Mini, we liked the Spark more and we knew it. We knew DJI would release a Mavic Mini 2 in about a year or less than a year after they released the Mini, the Mavic Mini, they released the second version and that one is really cool. I, I, I still I still wish they made the Spark and, and upgraded it. That was such a cool little drone. So it's basically what we have here, the Air 2S, is kind of like something between the Mini 2, the Mavic Mini 2 and the DJI uh, Mavic 2 Pro. So the naming convention is getting to be a lot, I think. But is the Mavic 2 Pro still the newest Mavic? Yes, there's one oh, with wow. the zoom lens as well, but that is the newest Mavic. Yeah, there was, yeah. I just had a feeling, if you look at the history, the timeline of when DJI has released their drones, I even called it, I said, about a week ago, maybe two weeks at this point, I said, Abby, uh, if DJI doesn't release something in the next two or three weeks, I think I'm just going to buy the Air 2, and thankfully, they released the Air 2S. So this comes in at $1,000, $9.99, right? And it's a, it's a fairly good price considering what you get. Now, what we got was the Fly More Combo, which I, I think just for um, like almost like an everyday flyer is what, what we're kind of looking at for this. Just something fun to take around with us if we want to fly for fun. Uh, that's what we're kind of shooting for here. Very capable, fun drone. Not saying the Mini isn't, but this is definitely an in-between drone, in my opinion, from the Mini, the Spark, a small style of drone, and the Mavic 2 Pro. It also weighs significantly less than this, which is something that I was pretty excited about. So there we go, we're busted into this, and uh, the rest of this video, I don't want to let anybody down. We're not going to show any flight footage or camera usage or anything. That'll be for another video. We're just going to take a look in this and see what it comes with. I just wanted to get you uh, a, a, a video of our first impressions. Abby even said, you know, I'm pretty happy with my um, DJI FPV, so you go for this one, Nate, you know? And that's, yeah, I said that's, this is yours. And it is. I, I didn't want to buy this. I was like, I don't know why you're buying this. Well, no one cares about this. <laughs> do you, though? I'd like to hear it in the comments below because, I, as I said, I wanted an Air. I didn't see any hype about this. There's not much hype. So, well, like, I don't even know if DJI, I think DJI just sent an email out, whereas with the FPV drone, they were, like, counting it down. There's a lot of hype with this. I didn't see much at all with the Mavic. Or, I'm sorry, the Air 2. This S. drone is significant. <laughs> Why aren't you over here in front of the camera? Uh, this drone is significantly different in all ways than, than all of their other drones. All their things now are starting to look exactly the same. They all just have that Mavic look to them. 
I should point out too, these cameras on top of the drone, that is a really nice new feature. And I'll talk about that when I get the drone out because I, I could talk about it all day without it <laughs> being out of here. Oh, it comes with a nice case too and the fly more combo. Well, soft case anyway. I usually, I usually kind of make fun of these. It's, a, it's a purse. It's, it's another purse from DJ. Purse. Yeah. I wish DJI would just get on the bandwagons. This is our spark case and it's old and uh, it's a third party seller and it works so much better and it's the same size as you could do something like this but way more robust and this just looks like a purse so yeah i i don't like this so i'd, I'd rather have a belly pouch than a purse <laughs> a fanny pack a fanny pack yeah so here let's just take a look at the drone okay the placement in there that's okay that's that's it just looks it feels what? cheap that you know? looks like that just that looks like a Mavic. Right, yeah, there's a lot of similarities. All their drones now are extremely similar. They are making all of their drones really look and function very similarly. And you might scoff and say, well, it just looks like a Mavic, yeah. I mean, the, sure, they're both gray and they both have folding arms, but you could say that about RC cars they these days, couldn't you? They both have square cameras. <laughs> you're, you're being kind of ridiculous. They both the, have the same light, except this one here. has things up there okay, and this look, one doesn't. Look up here. Shush. See all this? They all have four tires. They all have a motor and ESC. <laughs> That's what you're saying right now. It sounds ridiculous, so stop. <laughs> oh, poor boy. He just wants to be. <laughs> they both have cam. You know, this has newer camera sensors. This has the addition of these top sensors too. So this like bug eye look it has going on. The reason that exists is because when this drone flies fast moving forward, look where the sensors are pointing. <laughs> okay. So the point for these forward sensors are when the drone is flying forward like this and now you have better obstacle avoidance. You know, something that this drone isn't great at is tracking people. I've noticed that this drone is extremely good at tracking people. There are drones that are on the market to compete with DJI because they boast being able to track moving targets and avoid trees and light posts and things. This drone can do that. So uh, that's really exciting. I want to remind everybody watching that you should definitely fly with AMA insurance. No matter if you're flying a paper airplane, a remote control airplane, um, RC drone that only costs $15 or something really nice like this, you should have AMA. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics and they provide insurance for the RC pilot. If you were to crash into something or somebody and you're just following their basic guidelines, then they'll step in and help you cover some damages if you, you know, God forbid, would do any, especially if you'd hurt anybody. So I highly recommend that if you even think about putting anything in the air, you pick up AMA insurance. I wouldn't even consider flying so much as a paper airplane without having it. And you get a lot of nice benefits too. You can fly at clubs, gives you access to club fields. Also possibly, you know, you may have to pay a club due to be there, but you get access to them. Also tons of events nationwide, which is really awesome and a really great magazine subscription, both physical and digital. So, you know, keep that in mind. AMA provides a lot for the hobbyist no matter where you are, just starting or you're a pro and you've been doing it for 20 years, it's probably time to sign up for AMA. So here is uh, our charger and let's just see. You know what, I, I don't know how much, I think I think what I wanna look at here is just the radio. I really don't think there's a need to look at every little wire up close. I, I just want to show you guys my kind of first impressions on the things that are different. And I know that this radio has been out for a couple drones, but it'll be new for me. This one's significantly smaller. So I feel like this is almost a step in the wrong direction for that reason alone. Uh, this one unfolds. This is the old Spark transmitter and the Mavic and other drones use that too. And, and this is the first time for me that I've gotten this transmitter, this radio, that doesn't unfold that way. It's just a big box. Is that an antenna? Well, check this out. That is where you put your phone. So, you know, it just feels... Oh, it doesn't have a screen. ...cheaper to I, me, right? I wonder if uh, the um, thing you have with this, 
Right. Crystal Sky. Crystal Sky 2, I think it is. I think it's the, I think there were two versions. I wonder if that'll work. I, I don't know. I hope so. I really hope so. Because we have the Crystal Sky and I love the Crystal Sky. It's very sh underrated. Shout out to Chuck who hooked us up with this. If he's still way. watching, I sure hope he is. And um, there's a, there's a transmitter, a radio that has a screen built in that looks like this. Mm -hmm. And I love it, but it's like $750 or something. I, it's really expensive. I don't know the exact price, I think, but um, I've heard that it will work after a quick little update with your drone. So uh, there, yeah, that's weird. I, I don't know if I like this. Uh, just it feels a lot different, you know, but I'm sure it's gonna work great. Anything that boasts a, any, an over seven mile range is kind of insane to even consider that. Where the hobby is now, I, I really can't believe um, just sitting here holding something that's just like a little, couple of pounds and it says it can fly over seven miles away and I don't recommend you do that you should always maintain line of sight of your drone but to say that it has a seven mile signal potential you know you may have spotters along the way or, or whatever uh, it's it's good to know that you'll have a very strong signal when you're close right that's why we that's why we like that so there it is. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and first impression I knew there was some different stuff with this I knew we had some people that were pretty excited to see this on the channel and let's see, what day is today now when we're watching this video? I think... Day of release? Tuesday. Well, we're recording it on Tuesday. Yeah, just No, came. it's Monday. Right oh, now yeah, it's Monday. That's right. Yeah. Releasing on we Tuesday. So other everyone else should be getting theirs in the mail, just like me. Um, in the next couple of days, we're going to have a really cool airplane on the channel, assuming we can get the video done and everything. Uh, the Draco. Now, I know it has nothing to do with the drone, but... I think I'm allowed to say the name. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about it until the day everybody else is allowed to get theirs, but the Draco will be coming to our channel. We're gonna do some testing of this drone too and have a lot of fun on the channel. Seems like lately we have had some big, crazy, awesome stuff on the channel. Normally we're not all about that. We'll do some budget friendly stuff too. And we did actually just fly a drone that was under $300 on the channel and I have plans on flying a couple more budget options too. So don't think that by us taking a look at a drone like this, we're forgetting about those budget options too. We're gonna definitely do a lot of that. I just wanted to take a look because we got it and to let you guys know we have it and that there will be some testing of it for the channel in the future because let's face it, uh, we have 270,000 subscribers at the time of recording this and there's a lot of people that rely very heavily on on our opinions of things before they buy things so we wanted to get that to you my first impressions of the mavic mini were bad we did not like it it felt cheap it felt um like you know we said this is not going to be one you guys probably want to get and it was at, like a worse than a spark oh yeah i thought so yeah and at first the first impressions video and our first flight video of the mavic mini we got so much backlash from the DJI fanboy community. You know, maybe we should have expected it, but we were being brutally honest. And I think that's a, it was a fair assessment because even DJI themselves came out and said, yep, that's a bad drone. We're gonna make a version two less than a year later. If a company releases another version of the exact same thing less than 12 months later, that's them saying, oh, we could have done better. So <laughs> I think we were right about that. I think I'm going to be right about this one. It feels good. It feels like a good quality drone and I'm excited to fly it. So that's where we stand with it right now. If you want to buy this, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Using that link helps support us. I'm not telling you to go run out and buy this, but if you plan on buying one, you're considering it, then at least please consider using that link. It helps support our channel and our family. And if this content means something to you, this family friendly RC content, I'm really grateful to be able to get something like this on our channel. Abby and I, we have our own funds as well that we sink into this stuff. This is 100% our funds, okay? You know, we, we will sell a couple RCs or something like that and work hard and make money to, to buy things too. It's not just discounted things that come to the channel and Patreon supported only things. This one is on us. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to afford something like that and be able to bring this type of content to you guys. And I'm grateful that you are willing to sit and, and watch and hear what we have to say. And for that, I thank the big guy upstairs. We couldn't do this without him. We also couldn't do our channel without our Patreon supporters. Although this video isn't Patreon supported, a ton of content is. 
And you guys know you're the backbone to our channel. We couldn't post as often as we do without that Patreon support. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have uh, probably a really fun video, maybe another drone video, maybe another DJI video popping up right about now. Definitely worth your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.